to another edition of Kick It Queens! Queens. Why did I wrist wings? Oh, my name is Amelia, <laughs> and I'm with my girlfriend Elle, and we're celebrating our one year anniversary! It's our anniversary. What better way to celebrate than with Tony Tony Tony? I mean, it's hats? a classic. But those hats, I mean, underrated. Truly. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is our one year anniversary. Um oh, we we well, and we've only had like sixteen episodes. That's a but lot. That's, that's there's a lot. other podcasts that don't have that many. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well they may have just started two though. Or do they just like record once? Hey, we record day. whenever we feel like it. That's true. There's no rules. Mm-mm. Anyway, cheers! Happy one cheers. year! We I made would it. say no laws, no drinking clause, but we've moved on. Now we got that natty. Like ice. Joey Janela, we've moved on. Has he moved on yet? I, I think don't know. He just drinks like seltzers. It's true, but if they want to set up a care package, right? That's, that's <laughs> down. Right. <laughs> I, I like care packages. <laughs> I like things. Free, <laughs> free thing. <laughs> and I like drinking when it's free. <laughs> exactly. So it's been a whole year. What a year it's been. What a year it's been. We did more than I thought we were gonna do. Yeah. Uh, you got a cat. Huh? I think got a cat. <laughs> She's a brat. She is. Um. <laughs> we yeah. So let's go through it. You Ooh. took notes. I did uh, take notes, but we should. Should we go? Uh, ma'am. <laughs> she, she wants to read. We well, something she's very her. smart for her age. She is. She's very advanced. She's in the top percentile. I don't know. That's just made me think of Easy. <laughs> oh, I already. <laughs> Dang. Oh, what a year he's had. Let's not talk about it. But um, let's talk about it. I feel it. like a lot of things that happened since we started this. We went to NXT by Soya. Mm. We met Ricochet. Mm. We were in the presence of beautiful Kyrie Sane. Mm-hmm. So adorable. Mm-hmm. We met the man. Mm hmm. It's a little sore spot. But you know, we met the man and it was great. Mm-hmm. We went to Vegas. Mm-hmm. We went to Double A Nothing. Mm-hmm. What'd you do in Vegas? Met Kendall Big. And Lita. We met Lita too. I met Lita. And I saw Kim's baby up close. He walked. He was right there. Just a tiny little guy. So beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah. Love him so much. <laughs> and. Yeah, we went to the best show of the whole year. We got to go to a lot of local wrestling. Yeah, we made friends. Mm. We made, who did we make friends with? Everybody. We bring crew. You're just looking at me like I don't know. <laughs> I'm the teller to your pen. Oh, okay. So I have to be the top shirt. <laughs> we've made, no, we seriously, we've made a lot of friends. Oh, man, yeah. A lot of friends. Like, not just here, but, like, everywhere. Yes. Which has been so cool. Shout out to the wrestling girls also celebrating their wedding. Right! That's so cool. I didn't even realize yeah. that. I thought they had been doing it a while already. Does that make our cool. shows a Scorpio? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten uh, hey, we've got you. Scorpio season does not have to be bad. It's Mercury retrograde. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we've gotten in some feuds. Oh, well, okay. I've gotten us yeah. in some feuds. That's fine. I didn't think that would happen. We've done a lot in a year. In a year. Lots Who of knows what else is going to happen? I'm so excited for the future. Because all we're doing is just sitting here talking about wrestling. Yeah. Which is why the whole reason we started the podcast is because anytime we would see each other, we're like, hey, did you <laughs> see each Oh my god! <gasps> ah! And then it's like, we, should we put this on audio? <laughs> well, every, literally, every one of our friends was like, you guys need to start a podcast. Mm. And we're like, makes sense. Uh, sure. I, I mean, if anybody wants to hear us just going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it just happens a lot. Yeah. Like, I've noticed that from editing. I always feel bad when we do see each other and like, we have all this pent up, like, <laughs> <We just laughs> <look> this crazy. <laughs> mark in us that needs to come out and, like, oh my gosh. gosh. Crazy. <laughs> and it's like we're talking and talking. It's like, oh, we should have did a podcast out of this. Dang it! Yeah, that happened. Yeah. So many opinions, so many feelings. Cat, no, go go. Goodness gracious! Yeah, she was gone before that. <laughs> she took all the plates. All of them. All of them. Oh, she's a bad girl. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the original looks up. Penelope Ford. She's the Penelope Ford. She's the Penelope Ford. <gasps> Cute. Oh. She's also dating Kip Sabian. Oh, gosh. It'll just go all circles back around to Kip Sabian. Listen, okay, one day. 
now. Yep, that's <laughs> good for that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's cheers to them. Cheers to them. Cheers. They're beautiful. Hey, they're very they have a dog. Good looking. <laughs> they have a dog, do they? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's serious. Mm-hmm. That's what wrestlers do, though. If they don't. They shack up and get dogs? They shack up and get dogs. Dogs. <laughs> when, when are or, I... and then they get married and get cats, like Alistair and. Is that right? Chelsea Green? He became a cat guy when he got with her. They got some cats now. Anyway. Marriage leads to cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already have the cat. Do they come to me? <laughs> How does this work? Okay, so Anyways. we but already anyway. talked about why we started the podcast. Um, yeah, we just wanted to And what's show. happened since? I, like I said, I watched our first episode earlier. I didn't watch it, you but didn't. I saw, like, stills. Oof. It was a different color in here. What? It was like a dark chocolatey brown. It was very dark. Yeah. It was super dark. We had a different camera. Different camera. It was a different time. I'm a little warm in this. Different but. audio. Yeah. A lot of things changed. Uh, and they're probably going to continue to. We did to change. continue to evolve. <laughs> we haven't changed much. I mean, I've, I'm not as obnoxious. I was like, ooh, wow. I was talking a lot. Really? You had to reel me in. Really? Yeah. I, I was remember. going off topic. Oh, because well, that would always happen. You would always go off on I tangents. I went on a lot of tangents. <laughs> I'm getting better. Okay. I have notes now. Yay! So let's get to it. Okay. Winners. Wow. Okay. I don't know where we're going. So with that. in this whole year, yes, you want to talk about your favorite moments. Do and I? There's some, you mentioned this. Well, I'm just asked. Are we going to talk about all like, our favorite moments yes. that have happened throughout the year? Yes. Because, well, it probably would have happened anyway, whether we were doing this. Or I don't know, but I also feel like it's. I'm but it, yeah, it, was it fits in with right after every. My best this. favorite wrestling moment. Yes, this well, yes. year. We don't need to know our lives. <laughs> no one wants to hear that. <laughs> uh, what were yours? Double or nothing. Yeah, that whole weekend. Double weekend. That whole weekend was magical. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's yeah, that is definitely at the very top of the list, and like top moments are kind of subcategorized in that yeah. because we got to meet Lita. <sighs> I drunkenly met wrestlers all over Vegas Mm -hmm. and took pictures with them because I was brave enough to ask for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, (laughs) Well, Sam was brave enough to ask for it. And you're like, go take a picture with him. Okay. Sure. Yeah, because was there Peggy, Patty? Uh, No. When she asked too many Pacificos. But, yeah, so that was, that's like top number one. Yeah. Um, Kenny, yeah. Kenny Omega. I can't believe it happened. It was crazy. Good for you. Thanks. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. Coco hates me too. Just looking at me like, like you met my dad. <laughs> Coco Omega. <laughs> but um, also during that show was like match of the whole year, Cody and Dustin. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My life. Match of my life. <laughs> that was emotional. But it was wonderful. I cried. Good stuff. Oof. Moxley. Moxley. Oh my gosh, there's just so many like different things that happened this year. Like with just watching like um, because being fans of the Bucks and Omega and yeah. and then watching their channel and then going from that into like oh shoot they're gonna start their own promotion. Yeah. Like it was such a fun time. Just, like 2019 was really fun time to be a fan, and it's still it continues to be. Oh yeah. Remember, like, Countdown, like, oh, what's be- what is this? What's this? I know! It was, New Year's, it was so fun. It was so fun. It was nice to see that all, like, coming together, and you're like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Yeah, magic. It was really magical. And then also representation was kind of big, too, you know. I, it's funny because I kind of, we were watching SmackDown. Yeah, SmackDown. Was it SmackDown? I don't know. Uh, when Steph came out. Oh, last, last week's? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, still, like, tooting the... Women's evolution, yes. things like, it's, stop, and we'll just continue to go, like, evolve already. <laughs> but that situation, I'm like, it's a double-edged sword. I'm like, I'm glad they got to do it, but also stop patting yourself in the back. It's like, that's what it feels I'm like. I'm glad and just kind of just do it. Yeah. It's like, just do you it already. Mention, like, okay, you did it. Like, it Speaks shouldn't be a, itself. oh, oh, we have a women's match now. Like, like, okay, no, it is a big deal, and yeah, they should have been like, break news, it is happening, but you didn't need to have Stephanie come out and redo it. Yeah. So, like, that really bothered me a lot. And I love Stephanie, but ooh, 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 ooh. Um, yeah, it did. It was really annoying. And 
then when they still do like stupid romantic storylines that are just make no sense. You mean sense. Lana and Bobby Lashley? Yes! That doesn't like fill you with joy. Makes no sense! <sighs> it's so annoying. So when they stuff like that better. is still happening, it's kind of like, yeah, I don't really think they care about like changing too much. But I love what's happening with NXT and yes. stuff. So. Anyway, off topic. Go back yeah, to your really. favorite moment. Oh, my, well, I did. Okay, favorite moment. Me and Lita. Yeah, that was really fun. We got video of that, and yeah. like kind of, you did not freak out as bad as you thought you were gonna. I did. She kept me very calm, and I freaked out in the bathroom like an adult. <laughs> yeah, like an adult. You cry in the bathroom, you cry in the bathroom <laughs> afterwards, <laughs> and you forget to vlog it because you guys would have loved that. I just started bawling in the hi. I know you really did. <laughs> And there was a lady in there who started crying too. And I was so sweet. Just what a match. She was like, place. I get it. I totally get it. I, w- I saw Jungle Boy the other day. And, and I was like, oh, oh, oh stop. Stop. I'm going to cry about you. When I saw Jungle Boy the first time, I was just like, oh, my heart. He's like a baby. When I saw Sunny Kiss for the first time, <gasps> I know. That beautiful angel came out. Sweet baby angel. Oh, my God. I mean, she gets rump on. Tommy Dreamer. Yep. My life has changed. Don't get on this table. She will. Don't you do it. She will. I swear, I got the water. Hey, do you want some of this fire? I don't think you do. So you're going to stay right there. There you go. Anyway. Training trips. Training, cat training tips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Double or Nothing was, I think that just, that yeah, is just, yeah. there is no like top five moments. No. Like, <gasps> boom, all the moments were all in the- that. Weekend. All of that. You know what happened. We saw Bret Hart. We saw Awesome Kong come out. We weren't expecting that. That was really fun. Oh my god, the last one. <laughs> saw Bret Hart falling off. The- oh yeah. Oh, yeah so- <laughs> he just like jumped off. I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> Bret, are you okay? <laughs> oh man, yeah. So Double or Nothing weekend was just amazing. But um, did you have any other like moments that stood out for you? Um, or is it just like? For me, I guess it's like building of like a community yeah. with the people I around us. Who have We've like, met, like not just online, but mm-hmm. in panels. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, I think that's been really fun. We've been going to a lot more indie shows. Yeah, I think for me this year was really go refreshing. go 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 no. Sorry if that shook uh, the cat that's there. <laughs> Bad director, bad She usually falls asleep because she gets tired, she's but right. like, yeah, she's really hyped right now. She took too many naps today. Oh, no. But, um, so what was I going to say? Oh, well, like, uh, inclusivity and, and representation just felt more, um, or just maybe we knew where to find it now, but, like, I think things are just so much more available. There's so much wrestling. Yeah, there's so much wrestling that you can watch and find, and, you know, you can find... Like, there's whole promotions that are LGBTQ-centered, so that's kind of, that's really, really cool. And even just going to any shows, we've seen so many good people. Oh, yeah, for sure. Saw our baby Jake Atlas. That one time? The one time, and I was still talking about it forever. Yeah. <laughs> forever. So what do you got on the him. notes there? Um, I wrote a lot of notes about because I watched our first episode, and I took notes that it was cringy. Thanks okay. for watching. Watched our first episode ever. How many views is that? Like ten? It's like fifty. Oh, fifty something. That's more than I thought. It's I don't a lot. Check. <laughs> it's a lot. And then I watched her. It's last just one. us watching it, probably. No, I watched it maybe like twice. The first time oh, today, okay. and I was like, "Ooh, girl, <laughs> girl, help her." So, what do you yeah. want? We talked, but see, a year ago we were talking about evolution. Oh man. Remember and now I'm talking about like, all right, we get it, it's an evolution. Remember evolution? Yeah. Oh, oh we were stoked. It was beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Someone, oh. it, Sasha was gone for like almost a whole year. She was. And now she's back. Now she's back. She got blue hair. She baddie. Oh. Her and Bailey. Her and Bailey. Ooh. Oh. And you know what? I feel like they're kind of getting overshadowed by like a lot of other stuff that's happening that's really exciting. Which, which is fine, because I'm still paying attention. They're going to, that's, you know, like, somebody else said that. That they're going to get overshadowed in the Survivor Series match. But they still said that Sasha's going to make her presence known. But I'm oh, going to early prediction yes. here. But, listen, they didn't do new hair for nothing, okay? <laughs> they she didn't, didn't cut her hair, hair for nothing. Okay. Bailey's Our Lord and Savior Bailey did hair. not, oh my God. Bailey, that, I need to cut my hair. That's wrong. I need to cut my hair and everything. I just not have that kind of. 
so good. So good. It's really nice. Yeah, Bailey's heel turn was just like, ah! It's my favorite. So exciting. <laughs> uh, the same bitches and... <laughs> And the, the, like, the first video of a kid crying, and then you're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> so I, okay, I don't yeah. know what podcast this was, because they pointed out that it, the only videos you saw were little boys crying, and not little <laughs> girls. Oh, man, I didn't even, <laughs> wow. Because little girls cry. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to say stuff like that, yeah. too. She's cool. <laughs> She's and cool. little boys are like, no. They're not giving up on Bailey, but, aw. <laughs> Well, I guess that says something about how we raise boys over girls. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's okay. <laughs> what else, friend? What a year. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's too quiet. I'm sorry. Uh, so, no. We, uh, you got the notes. I didn't write any notes. The notes. And I didn't rewatch the old episode Ugh, or well. listen to it. We talked about your girl Dana Brooke. Oh, Dana, she got... B. Woo, she got whooped. Oh. I like well, how... Carmella got thrown over. No. Okay, Carmella got thrown onto a pillow, I'm sure. Carmella was literally just sitting <laughs> in the corner favorite. going like, uh, oh. Dana's getting, like, the crap beat out of her. Like, she's getting annihilated. I'm and then, Carmella. like, Bianca just picks up Carmella and throws her. I'm and Carmella. We don't know where she landed, but she was probably landing on a pillow. She's really upside down. Because they can't hurt her. Because Bianca would murder her. <laughs> So they're like, Carmel, oh, yeah, upside Dana down. could take the beating. Carmella cannot. So, you know, that's what it was. I think she's in the upside down now. <laughs> she's in the upside down. She's gone. I want that crossover for her and Truth. In the upside down? I don't, okay. What? In the yeah, everybody, everybody likes everything. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Everyone's different. Um, oh, it was like the day of Crown Jewel. That's the one we did last year. But... What? That's oh the day we recorded. Apparently. Really, the first Crown Jewel? Yeah. Oh man. Gross. Dang. <gasps> and nothing much has changed in that. No, right. but it's extended. Do you think like because of this recent Crown Jewel and the whole drama that happened with it, um, uh, like th that NXT thing? Do you think that was planned before, or is that something they were like, hey, let's do this now? Okay, so I watched a video uh -huh. this morning mm -hmm. of the story. Apparently, they didn't know till like that day. They got called at like two. Who's they? NXT. Oh, okay. And they were like, hey, uh, can you guys uh, get ready? Because you guys are going to go to SmackDown tonight. And they got there like at 7.40. Yeah, because I feel like if it was planned out, they would have gone to Raw first. And then into SmackDown. Yeah. So that was just unexpected. It had to, there's probably something. I feel it's like, still they were already going to be it's probably, NXT was going to be in it. It needed to happen. Oh my god, it was so good. Yeah, so That's exciting. Oh, so fun. Ciampa? Ciampa? Ah! <laughs> Daniel Bryan? And Adam Cole, oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's funny because we were talking about this earlier with producer S, and he was like, you hated Adam Cole. And I was like, I was so irritated with Adam Cole. It was so, I thought he was so generic. It's like, great, just another, war, you know, the pretty white right dude. Yeah. And I was like, I, I, and then like, look at me now. I'm like, bye, bye. And it's like, yeah, oh, Yeah, you bought, boy. you bought the wrist, oh, the arm band. I'm wearing you it. got the autographs, you got. They're hanging on my they wall. <laughs> I oh. talked to trash about Kyle too. <laughs> oh, and no, what happened last year when you saw Kyle? I uh, she marked out. What's gonna happen in a, next month when you see Kyle? Ring. You're gonna propose to Kyle. <laughs> Nikki's gonna propose to Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting married. I'm not always the bridesmaid. Uh, I'm just kidding. Finn's already married. Finn got married. <laughs> he seems so happy. Oh, I'm annoying. happy for him. That's super cute, but <laughs> Jesus. Some of us all are. right, all oh, right. You know what? Tone person. down your love, okay? Just turn it down. You're on 11. Put it down to 3, okay? <laughs> this goes to 11. <laughs> this love goes to 11. Oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, that could have been Mike and Maria's gimmick. This love goes to 11. Oh. That could have been a shirt for them. Are they still... Mike apparently quit. Yeah, he asked for his release, right? Yeah. Good for him. You gotta do what's good for your mental health. Yeah. Good for them. They're in Disneyland apparently. According to Fun. Instagram. They took the they took their baby to Disneyland. How cute. Cute little family. Oh. Yeah, so okay, so Crown Jewel's <laughs> happening, yada yada yada. They all got stuck, which is crazy. But remember I texted you and was like, they can stay on they go, but not like trapped. Not I don't no, want them trapped. Not That's like sad. held captive for Money did you see that? Well, they don't need money. Did you see that? Weird that they got like kidnapped. 
Huh? They were like being held. I know. <laughs> That's a valid, like, scary thing, Could though. You like, that? Uh, if it no. actually happened. Yeah. No thanks. That's kind of scary. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I want to see I that mean... Lifetime movie, though. <laughs> no. No? <gasps> Think about the Lifetime movie. I just, no. Mm -mm. I don't Who even want to fathom that. Like, I just can't even imagine. Um, and I just think about a story of, a, like, a story I read that was really sad about a, rest, a female wrestler who went abroad like that, and it was just really bad. Okay, let's go! What else have we got? <laughs> okay, well, basically, we already touched on it, but also AEW happened this year. Yeah. What? Everything changed. And, and the, the speculation, like, going into it, too, is, like, it's going to fail, or, yeah. like, why are you guys, like, it was, why do you even like this? So, what, like, a year or ago? Or you think they're going to beat the WWE? It was kind it was of, like, like, a thing, like, I'm still rumbling, like, maybe they're doing something. We don't know. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, because, I mean, it happened when Cody started hanging out with the Bucks, and yeah. we, like, recognized, like, hey, we can, like, actually make something of this? Yeah. That's kind of neat. That's, like, that's so fortuitous to have met people who are like, I want the same thing you do. They're like, okay, let's do it. best friends. Yup. <laughs> That's basically what That's happened. Basically what happened. And it turned like a whole show into it, like a power struggle of like, but this is the core. Yeah, but he's got ideas. And, oh, that's so neat. So it's really fun to have like, I honestly have lost interest in all of that, but I still like watching AEW, you know? I'm not paying attention to the storytelling uh, outside of AEW anymore, like um, being the elite. In, or really? Anything. Yeah, I have not been watching at all. The storytelling, what, uh, it's, I feel like it, it should get there on AEW. It should be shown on AEW. They're yeah. getting better. Their storylines are finally having a little bit of storyline. I mean, they are better at their other shows, having time to tell a story. Yeah. It's, like I watched AEW Dark, the new one I was telling you that just uh -huh. dropped today, and they have like a match, and then Nyla had an interview after. Oh, okay. Like, it's stuff like okay. that. It's a little tweaking yeah. here and there. Oh, the well, the thing, okay, I love AEW, don't get me wrong. Yes. The matches are insane, the matches are great. Their cameramen do not know the wrestlers and, like, their spots, and so that has been the most annoying part about watching it. Yeah. But I still, I mean, I still enjoy the, I enjoy, it, like, the wrestlers, but rough. I feel like the production is really it's rough. <laughs> They really gotta get a new team who knows this stuff, or like educate them. Like, okay, this is gonna happen, and then yeah. you want to make sure you have camera A or B or whatever. Yeah, somebody's watching the Matt because Matt is gonna do this, and you know. What the, I watched. I don't really watch Matt, and I swear, like somebody was gonna do a move, and then they cut away to a crowd shot, and then the yeah, it's, it's really. Yes. I don't know. I don't think they know them very well, or like they just have like a. A new team, and that's the one thing like NXT has over them because NXT cool. is like literally polished on a like a, a, a campus that yeah, like, that's their that's whole, their whole thing. <laughs> no lie, I thought about going to the I was like, I can work for NXT. It's a couple years ago. <laughs> wow, I would have supported that. <laughs> but they'd have to move to Florida. Oh, Florida. No offense to Floridians, just Florida. Mm, that would know. be cool. Um. Yeah. Basically what I got. I'm okay. Thinking. Well, hey, we have a one year. We did it. We, we we survived. We're still recording a year later. Yeah. We're going to get bigger. Maybe. We are? I don't know. I think we, I, I got, you know what? I've kind of not been watching a lot of wrestling lately. I've, I've been on Twitter, Twitter, and that's how I got most of my news, usually. <laughs> um, I just, I, I'm going to make a point to kind of just get back in. Go back. Bye. Okay. Sure. Got a lot going on. Yeah. Doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Shows. I'm busy. Yeah. What well, busy lady? The weird thing is I don't know what to watch when I'm not watching wrestling because there's so much wrestling. Oh, yeah. I just feel like I want to be able to sit down and watch a show or, you know, some, or a whole match. And I just, well, I'm not, yeah, life is too chaotic for me right now to even devote any time to wrestling, which makes me sad because it's such a great joy in my life, but I can't, I don't even have time to, like, devote to it, you know, anymore. I feel, like, out of the loop. I feel kind of bad. Yeah, it's Scorpio so season. Long. And so Mercury retrograde. It's Scorpio sky season. Scorpio sky season. Oh, and new tag team champs. Oh, shit. What did you think about that, though? How did you feel about that? Because I kind of was like, nah. Really? Yep. I and I love SCU. I 
I love them, but I was like, nah. You wanted Lucha Bros? Yes! I was fine either way. Lucha Bros are not, are like on a whole different plane of existence. They're I, like, to think that anyone can beat them is just, it's like no one can beat them. They're so good. They're I just so good. And it's like, I just, I don't see them as ever losing, ever. Um, maybe I'm biased because I'm Mexican, but no. I don't know. I was fine either way. Excuse me. I don't know. I, I was really disappointed. So, to my surprise, because I wow. love SCU. You were like, yeah, these are your team. Yeah, and, but through watching it, I'm like, well, SCU's not going to win because Lucha Bros are, like, untouchable. They're like mutants. They're not even human. It's true. And then it's like, when, like and the way they lost, too, like, it just wasn't it believable. Was, yeah, that was a weird ending. It was a weird that. ending. It wasn't believable, and that's kind of just, like, it really solidified why I thought, like, SCU shouldn't win because it's like, yeah, well, that's just, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my feelings on the match. But it was still a great match. It was great. It was a great match. That tournament was great. That tournament was great. They did good. Private party. Private party was fun. Uh, they beat the Bucks. I know. Woo! It's so fun to watch. So fun. I love it. AEW is really, I mean, it's ex- this is exhausting kind of because AEW is so good, but NXT is so good. My wins like- are exhausting. I watch <laughs> AEW and then I watch NXT. <laughs> Because I'm a glutton for punishment. Mm. I don't know, but I do that every Wednesday. Gosh, I can do that. I have to set. I have to like put it in pieces for that to do it. I gotta know what happens. I mean, I've already gotten used to watching NXT the next day instead of day of because I go out to drink on Wednesdays. Whiskey Wednesday. <laughs> it's Whiskey Wednesday. So I was like, okay, I have something to look forward to on Thursday. So you realize I would watch it before I leave. Do you watch the little NXT? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I watched a little bit. I just watched Champa come out and be like, yo, I got some friends, you got some friends. And AJ was like, boy, you on. Let's go. Oh, okay. Like, okay. And I haven't watched any matches yet. Oh, okay. It's exciting, though. Okay, so then I can't talk about my theories. You can. I don't mind spoilers. Oh, you don't mind? Oh, okay. Mm-mm. So I will say. None at all. Because we are getting our first ever Lady War Games. <gasps> oh, yes! Talk about oh my gosh! Here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. So yeah, watching NXT last week and watching all the oh, female wrestlers brawl. like that brawl was just like Man. wow. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So good. And it made me like go fuck. Shoot. There's so much. So there's so many good wrestlers. I mean, just it makes it kind of sad too because imagine all the like wrestlers we've missed out on because of misogyny and like the way the business been. worked. You know yeah. what could have been. But seeing the wrestlers now that we do have, I mean, gosh, yeah, even the ones who are not, like, technically good are still so fun to watch. Yeah. You know, because of personality, oh, or yeah. you're just rooting for them, they're like the under, like Dakota Kai, she's like the underdog. It's not believable that she could beat anybody on that yeah. roster, but I still, like, yeah. we cheer for her, you know? She fought Shayna this week, and I was like, you go, girl, go, girl you go, girl, girl, I'm not afraid you anymore. Close. She was, yeah, she was looking great. She looks fantastic, yeah. So, so here's my theory about Okay, here, let's hear the theory. I, so here's my, what's up? So she found Shayna because allegedly, or not allegedly, but on that WWE show, The Bump, their little, like, entertainment show thing mm-hmm. that they had, Rhea Ripley was like, oh, Dakota Kai would be a waste of a pick if she <gasps> was on my War Games team. Wow. So for, she had to prove yeah, herself. So she had to prove herself against Shayna, right? <laughs> so she loses because, of course... She put up a valiant effort. It was a great match. She looked cute with that mm. new gear. I know. I okay. love that new gear. So anyway, so then they all come out and brawl, right? Because, duh. And then afterwards, uh, there's an interview with Rhea's team. And Dakota's there. And Mia Yim's there because Mia Yim came out and helped them beat with had the kendo stick. And Rhea Ripley was like, yeah, Mia Yim's on my team. Dakota Kai's right there. And Dakota just was like, and like walks away. And I was like, and there's still one spot on Shayna's team. <gasps> oh, no! Is she going to join Shayna's team? So this is my theory, because she's pissed. She didn't get picked. Oh, Dakota. Dakota joins the dark side. No, I don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> it's so bad. No! You think so? I can't. I she, could see there her. There was another interview I could where see she her. like stormed off because they were like, well, how do you feel about this? And she was just like. Because she's not taking, yeah. being taken seriously. Exactly. <gasps> and then I couldn't you see, oh. couldn't you see Shayna being like, they didn't think you were good enough. I don't think you're good enough. Yeah. So I'm going to give you yeah. an opportunity. Yeah. Ooh, could you see this? Ah! Couldn't you see this? Yes, I can. I, I see it. your vision. And Tegan Knox would be so sad. Oh. 
She's hanging out with uh, Rhea. That was weird. That was weird. I know that they put them together for like that. <laughs> and when I came out, I was like, what? Yeah, and it's so stupid the way it was. <sighs> so poorly planned. And their opponents, Rhea Ripley and I know. Tina. And then it's like, Rhea gets his chance to talk and it's like, we'll be your opponents. Like, well, yeah, duh, we know you've already been announced as their opponents. Yeah. What the heck are they doing there? Like, that they're was just weird. sadly that was like, weird. mishandled. It's like. And Tegan's just in there. And I'm like, he's not your normal. You just fought for the tag title. Yeah. What's the count at? Also, great match. Why didn't they have EO? <sighs> EO and Rhea? Fuck. No, because they're going to fight. Oh, yeah, that's right. Don't think I'm going to I mean, they can put their differences aside for one night. For, but what happens too yeah. much? That's too much backstory. They have to go in. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> well, and it was like kind of just but, last minute. And see, too. that also makes sense for the storyline that she took Tegan with her to SmackDown. Ooh. I'm also reading probably too Wow, much that, you're reading in between like really tiny little lines. Know. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. I really like the idea. That's what I'm thinking. They're going to break up Team Kick? That's so rude! I know, they just got back together again. They're little bionic knees. I know, I get so scared for their knees every time they're in so the small. Ring. Well, Tegan's like sturdy. But she's thick, but. She's thick, but she's still like, you know, she scary. She hurt both of those knees though, and I'm scared for her. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, let her enjoy her career as much as long as she. I wish her the longest career possible. She also, I saw this cute video, I forgot to send it to you. Mm. She met Kane. Well, like, they had Kane on, like, on an interview with mm. her, and he was, like, she's obsessed with Kane. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, so cute. Cry. And I was like, oh, my heart. <laughs> I love that. Like, when Billy came at the rock. Like, <laughs> Oh, my God, I know. I got teary-eyed with I that, did. dude. No, that's mine. So, okay, Al, it's been a year. Uh, well, like, on the 2nd, it was officially a year, what? and then we aired it on the 6th. Yes. Or the 7th or something? 6th. And so, with that being said, what hopes um, do you have for, like, the like coming year? podcast resolution? Yeah. Like, what what, what would you like to see happen? Like, guess... are you trying to... Oh, it's a good idea. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just want us to get bigger and better and make more friends and put out good content for people. And if more people want to join our craziness, sure. Yeah, we've only ever had one guest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so maybe we'll maybe have more guests. guests. Yeah, we have some ideas of people. Who I we'd think like to what have on. what has been the the issue is just a lot of life changes in 2019. I have a good feeling. We've about had a lot of personal life changes. Let's talk about 2020. Yeah, I'm hoping things are going to be different. This might even be the last time we record in this space. So I didn't want to say anything, but you brought it. But up, it's so. true. So, Things could look different very soon. <laughs> very different. So uh, this year's just been kind of tough because the plan was to do a lot of different things. And, you know, we kind of just had to do what we could with what we had. Yeah. Um, so 2020, let's go DIY forward. around <laughs> I'd like to go. I'd like to travel more next year. Yes. We didn't get a bad show without. Uh, you never got to go to, like, Hood Slam or anything. You never to Hood Slam. New Japan's in California this weekend, and I'm not going. Yeah. I'm poor. Yeah. So, Okada was at a Bass Pro Shop. I know! I was, like, <laughs> I, had to, I was scrolling, and then I had to, like, stop and scroll back and be like, wait a minute, that's Okada? <laughs> also, <laughs> I love the world was uh, at, like, a Starbucks. I, I love was, that they go to In-N-Out all the time. Oh, my God, it's so In-N-Out. cute. But I was like, could you just imagine being a Starbucks employee and Suzuki comes up? Just, like tries to order like whatever. Well, he's got his app, and he's like, mm. yeah. <laughs> so Mobile post. order picks it up only. So not opposed that they spelled the name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, they tend to do that. I if I was like out of Starbucks and I saw Sonata. I'd just... Oh my god! You, know, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm never really paying attention to my surroundings too much. It's true. I'm, it's a, head, I'm, I'm a head Starbucks, down I'm type like, person. So. I'm like, I'm ordering my drink, I'm waiting. Yeah, or I'm, I'm not trying order, to get in you know? way, or like start a fight by just But I think I would notice a giant bleach blonde man. Chinese <laughs> 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 <Japanese> man. <laughs> He's not giant. What is he, like five something? I don't know. Five. I don't can't, know. We just, we well, hate their giant. A big muscle They're tiny, bleach blonde though. Man. Yeah, yeah, I would probably muscle, notice. Yeah, with like, yeah. With his little... He's so stylish. With his moccasins. I would propose the hell out of Sonata. Rain? Sonata. Can I put a ring on it? I would put a ring on that. <laughs> <laughs> we could go get oh Can we get catered by Starbucks? <laughs> uh, I wonder how they spelled it. So oh, with a T. Yeah. <laughs> I figured. 
Um, but yeah, like for me, I, that's what yeah. I would like. I'd like to travel more next oh year. Oh my god, I forgot my other favorite moment. What? What? what is I it? I met Marty! Oh my god! Hi, 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 Hi. Our voices went so high. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. Gogo was like, um, <laughs> Kim's here, can you shut up? <laughs> can you kindly shut up? <laughs> but yes, also, you did, and you took Marty there! <laughs> and I was on the news! <laughs> Watching it happen, and can tell the like story of like what happened. <laughs> yes, six months later. Like, but he did tell I, the story. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Like that's how I feel about Kenny too. Because like I don't remember. Like I was. Oh, was I just, like, just yeah. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, looking at that picture, anything. being like, "Is this?" <laughs> you got video of him. I did. He does our intro now. Yes. Yeah. And Berlin Enterprises approved. Mm -hmm. and, Exactly. Basically, we're honorary members of <gasps> Berlin Enterprises. Oh gosh, can I just be the accountant? Yes. Hey. I'm the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I answer the phones. <laughs> Berlin Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah, that, that has to be right up there with Double or Nothing Weekend. Mm hmm. Dang, oh my god. That gosh. was like two months apart. If I, I were rich, running. we would go everywhere because, oh, imagine all the fun people Thanks. are having okay. right now like, at StarCast right Speaking now. Speaking of, you were talking about what you want, our podcast resolution goals. Uh -huh. More travel, of course. Yeah. Let's put this out here. Let's put this in the universe. All out, <gasps> 2020. <gasps> okay. I mean, I'm always down for that, right? Go, go, I mean, of course. I'll take go, go with me, shoot. Chicago? Yeah, take her the Windy City. We'll get her a cat friendly hotel. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. She's going to eat. Never me. mind. She stays home. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get cat sick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would love that. I, I would love for that to happen. Even like the Jericho Cruise or something. But <gasps> that, that's so much things. bubbly. So much bubbly. Yeah. Uh, I mean. So that's a goal. That's a goal for sure. Because I don't want to go to Tampa for WrestleMania. No. I'm absolutely. sorry, Tampa. You're probably yeah. great, but I can't handle heat. You know what, though? I'm from California. Oh, yeah. We like that dry heat. Mm -hmm. We dry. We try. We got to moisturize a lot. <laughs> I like a dry we heat. We go through a lot of lotion. <laughs> I don't want to deal with a hurricane. Give me an earthquake. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Something I can handle. Yeah, I mean, and, and maybe, like, even just kind of expanding into... Like our local wrestling community and having you know more connections with the fans, yeah, um, and maybe having them on the show too. And we're too, we're just too shy sometimes. I we think. do get shy. If we've seen, we're rude, really loud with each other. If we seem rude, go go. But if we seem rude, <laughs> it's because we're weird and awkward, and sometimes we're just like super true. We see you. We want to be friends. All overt eye contact. Yeah, at all. It's not us. like we're trying to be too cool because we're not. We're not Definitely. cool. That's not how you would describe no. us. No. 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 I mean, unless you're talking about the tag team, too cool. Oh, well, yes. It's different. <laughs> That's what we should be next year for Halloween. <gasps> oh my god! Can I be Scotty Too Hottie? Oh, okay. I think it's be Grandmaster Sexy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> it's so cold. Well, is that the end of the episode? <laughs> no, I'll just sit here and like, oh my god. Let me go get one. Anyway, carry on. Go we'll on. This. We can edit this. No. Ca go on. Carry on. <laughs> oh my god. Go, go. Kill me, cat. Don't let her tip over the rest of it. <laughs> Ma'am? Oh, oh my god, she's looking at it. Yeah, I know. She's a terror. Anyway, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching our show. Oh, putting up with you. this nonsense. Thank you. Anybody who has watched the show. And actually likes it. Thank you. You're appreciated. You have no idea. You really are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting a towel. Give me a second. This Give is... me a second. Oh my god. 
That's, That'll be us over here. Oh, good. I'm locking her in the bathroom. <laughs> That's she what you get. She stays in there. You should put it on like Valvina. No! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, ladies! <laughs> Hello, ladies. Okay, let's get back in here. Oh, you know, my gosh. You know, I was going to get another one anyway, so. Honestly, <laughs> even if it was 1998, I would not be into Valvina's. What? No! Neither would I. <laughs> I don't know why I said what. <laughs> no, you acted like I offended you. What? You would not? You, uh, what? First of all, I'm pretty sure I'd be a Razor Ramon kind of girl. Oh, yes. Chest hair? For sure. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, that Is was this funny. the year we meet Joey Ryan? Uh, man, I feel like I, okay, so this is my biggest regret of 2019 and being a wrestling fan. This was the time of the famous dick wrestlers, right? Yes. And a few that's happening between these famous dick wrestlers. Oh. And they were both in my vicinity, and I had a chance to meet both of them and take a picture with two of the most famous dick wrestlers. But because I'm so, sh like, awkward, I'm... This is why you need me with you. I know, you would have pushed me, you. like... Because something takes over me. Uh, yeah, and I think like I have I've to. I've seen it. I've seen you do That's it. That's how we got a picture with Ricochet. That's how it happened. That's a good moment. But, okay, so we went to NJ. Wait, where did we go? No, we went to. Uh, it was Hoodslam. Hood oh, okay. It was Hoodslam okay, the night before. Yeah. And, like, we got in, and I was like, oh, it's Joey Ryan. Oh, she's making a mess inside. She, it's Joey Ryan's merch. Where is he? That's the thing, is he wasn't there. He wasn't at his table. And so I was like, uh. And so I looked around, and I could see the curtain cracked open a little bit, and he was like, talking to someone I was like oh man so See, after the show I thought he would be there and he wasn't there again and all his stuff was gone already and I was oh. like I stayed too long like I I hung out like and stayed too long <laughs> so <laughs> well there was like booze involved so um next day it's hood slam there's a lot of substances involved there's a lot of substances involved and that's why I love it I need to go next yeah I'm going go. to hood slam so, next day is NJPW, and we park, and we're there hecka early, and so we're like, let's go get lunch. So we're walking down the gate, and they're opening the gate for, like, wrestlers to come in, and Hangman's just chilling, like, literally, like, at right, like, the, like he's opening gates for people, and he's hanging out there, and I was like, oh, hey, Hangman, and he's like, hey, guys, and I was like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, and then I go eat my breakfast, and it's like, I should have took a picture with him, maybe. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I could have had a great Instagram post. I know. Dude, it was way before our podcast. I was this also This was before, there. like, Joey Ryan I was, was that. I was over in Berkeley, and you were like... I know. I know. I know. You know, I mean, things happen for a reason. It, it was fun. Everything happens for a reason. We met everybody we were supposed to this yeah. year. Yeah. Oh, Got my all gosh. the stories. I can't wait for next year. Well, I can't just wait for the new stuff that's going to happen. I feel more, like, confident and comfortable, like, being a fan, and... And, like, especially for independent wrestlers who don't really get a lot of, like, you yeah. know, recognition. I always walk in, I'm like, hey, guys. I feel like I own the place. Like, what is it? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm so, like, I'm weird. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You don't make eye contact. <laughs> I don't like, make eye contact. Here's my ticket. I'm just going to go. I'm always walking in, like, sup, girl? So, hey, hey, what's up? Oh, gosh. Like, I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> I, I think it's great. so annoying. We're good, like, yin-yang. Yin -yang. <laughs> They're like, oh, that Al. She's. No. <laughs> You're fine. Um, but yeah, so I mean more shows. Yeah, just uh let's have just to have fun. fun. More zines? Yes, definitely more zines. We That's been so such a fun, fun uh project that we've been doing. Our last on. one was so fun. Yeah, that was really neat. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna let it out. I'm such a sucker. Oh my god. I love my cat. When she meows like that, it makes me sad. <laughs> you Come came on, in. baby. Come on, little baby. It's okay. I'm sorry. You're, You're being, sorry? You were being bad. I had to do it. See, she's like, thanks. This is why I can't this, have kids. I'm such a pushover. This show has gone off the rails. Okay, so. Exactly what we did. One year! One year! We should have got balloons. We could have been like Instagrammers. Oh, man. We could have been influencers. 
No, we're well, actually not. You've seen our Instagram. <laughs> oh, uh, also my highlight was being Becky. For oh, Halloween. I was gonna say like uh, this year's Halloween costume. You were Becky, oh. bloody Becky. I was that. And then on actual Halloween, I was too lazy to put blood on, so I was like, well. <laughs> what were you on actual Halloween? Regular Becky, oh, every right, day, right. daily leather Becky, jacket. Becky before she got like blood on her face. Yeah, I was like leather jacket, the man teaser. Yeah. Child wig. Child wig came through in a clutch. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. But that was a fun costume, though. Everyone loved your costume. I thought of that, like, beginning of October. I was like, what's an easy costume? And I was like, oh, Bloody Becky. Bloody Becky. And one of our faves was also Bloody Becky. Did you see Queen of the Ring as Bloody Becky? Oh, yes! <laughs> I was like, oh! I was like, I can't, I can't be mad at that. No. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> idea. Oh, I'm playing it. <laughs> she Thank you. <laughs> so cheers to our one year anniversary i've had so much fun al like being your co-host and My like going to things fun. together well we usually don't travel together but when we change that this year we could but i feel like things the things that happened this oh, year this would not year have happened no. if we had traveled together so but they happened for a reason 2020 it's not go goes here I mean, she's my cat. She's crazy. She's baby. She baby, she baby. still. She, she baby. baby still. You know, I'm, for, I'm forgiving. Um, but oh. yeah, it's been such a fun year. So fun. Cheers. Cheers. Kay. Look at these lovely koozies. Uh, mine is not wrestling thing. No. But it says live fast, die slow. And this is a funny bone koozie. So you know what? It kind of go together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you were going to mention something just yes. before I interrupted you. No, you're um, fine. You're good. So, speaking of zines and zine fest mm -hmm. and all the fun friends we've made, we got a fun little care package from WrestleVoid. And yes. I already got to read um, a little bit of three. Actually, I'm almost done with it. And it's so good. It's really, really fun. So, if you don't know what zines are, if you're not into zines, uh, I mean, there. This is basically what you can do. It's just making a self-published magazine yeah. about like stuff you like, and you can read about wrestling. This is so good. They're so lovely. We have a zines theme. are great. Um, it's just a good time. way. Well, it's a good way to just be a fan and you know have an outlet to express what how you feel about something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you have a zine and you want to trade, we're down to trade. Always. We have a few issues. We have three issues. Three. Our last one, um, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Did I show it last time? No, we no, didn't we have it yet. <gasps> oh, go get, get it. it. Go get our baby. Let me go get it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Our friends really killed it this time. Yeah, seriously. Shout, shout out. out. Ashley. Hey, biggest shout out ever. Oh no. Am I out of it? Oh my gosh. Did oh. you give me the last one? I did. Oh no, oh. I didn't bring it. <laughs> okay, well. Um, Darn it. I did, I didn't even well, it. Well, insert picture here while well, I will put a photo of it. <laughs> <laughs> or go to our Instagram. A beautiful, beautiful drawing of Will Nakano. Oh my god, cover. it's Where just our good gorgeous. friend Ashley. Our friends Aaron and Sarah Rochelle are part of it. Mm -hmm. Con contributed. Yes. Um, so yeah, when, I mean, we don't mind getting contributions. Yeah. You know, if you have an entry you'd like to give us and you want to be a part of the zine. Sometimes we do themes like we did the Canadian theme. That was pretty um, fun. I just fun think it should just be, uh, like, whatever. So if you have something, if yeah. you're listening and you have something you want to talk about, like, we we'll take your submission, absolutely, and put it in the next zine. I had a good idea, but all my friends, all my favorites are getting signed out. So oh, like, yeah. No more indie <laughs> spot. <laughs> I think you could still have an indie spotlight, though, or something. And oh, like, yeah. So, speaking of which, and we have a little bit more time, yeah, we're who is your favorite on the indies right now? Ooh. I already know who I'm going to say. I think I know who you're going to say. I want to know who you think I'm going to say, but you say who's your favorite. Right My now, favorites? We, well, we get to, we're spoiled. We get to see Funny Bone, and we get to see Lisa Lane. Mm -hmm. I also love Priscilla Kelly. Mm -hmm. Just big, you know. I'm still going to count Jake Atlas, even though he got signed. I'm proud of him. So excited. I know, I could, oh, what, oh my god, when I saw that news, I can't even I see. I text you, and I like, I, like I, 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 yeah, I so, out. no, cat, no, go, go, please, just stop. Chaotic. Chaos. Go, go, please, stop. Pure chaos. Um, yeah, no, uh, yeah, so happy for him. So surprised, though, because I, I didn't know, I mean, Did I you know. think he'd go WWE? No. You thought AEW? I thought, 
but I feel like he made the right choice for himself. Yeah. NXT. And he's openly gay. Like, he, there's not, it's not a, it's not like, it's not like um, the dream where it's just an ambiguity. Yeah. Where he's not gay. The dream is not gay. No, he's not. But we have an actual, like, representation of LGBTQ. And it's not. In wrestling. There's different kinds of gay. There's different kinds of everybody. He's not just, you know, like, yeah, okay, he has glitter and rainbow on his gear. He supports Oh, my God, that was my favorite part about seeing him was he was so sparkly. Yes. I'm but like, he's not yes. like all this glitter. <laughs> Thank you. But he Thanks. kills it as a wrestler. And oh, he's my not God. like some sort, it's not like a character. He's magical. He's great. I love it. There's a, there's different kinds of people and flamboyant yeah. and stuff, but there's also, but, like, the fraudulent type yeah. of stuff where you get, that's not really genuine and it's yeah. not really real representation. Perfect. Great example. And I, yeah. Yeah. Let's just, yeah. Keep I him in it. next. And I protect him it. in the NXT, though. I just, <laughs> just protect him. I, feel, I feel like he's going to be well taken care of there. And he's such a good wrestler. He's, like, undeniable. You cannot yes. deny him and how great he is. Look, Swerve. Oh, he's so good. Fuck. Swerve. Oh, my God. He comes out and you're just like, yep, I accept yep. you. You're great. You're great. You're clearly yep. great. If anyone's holding you back... They're wrong. Tagged They're with the boys? Yes. <laughs> so funny. I was so happy to see him on SmackDown, like, coming out. <gasps> yes, like, part of it. Yes. 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 Yeah, so. So I was like, oh, he was, like, a newer, so he wouldn't be a That's what I thought, you know? too. And he was in there in the mix and was just. Yeah, he was in the mix. He's just so. So good. Elegant. <laughs> Speaking of this NXT takeover, I know we're going back to it, mm-hmm. but that last shot of Raw was Keith Lee. Over the top. Oh roll. my god! Okay, wait. Who went first? Ricochet went first. Yes. And but I was they, like, ooh. But, but then, then Keith Lee, Lee came and won up his ass. And I was like, guess what, bitch? I could do it too. Bang! And I was like, wow! I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was like, I have, so much Okay, NXT. wait. I have not felt this way watching SmackDown or Raw in like forever. Right? I so watched it. I was it. so excited. I watch it, and for SmackDown, I'm like, my girl, Sasha and Bailey, all I care about. Cool. Right now, it's so good. It's so, so good. good. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, it's so funny, because we were talking to a friend at the bar. He was, like, bringing up all the, these things that are happening, like, yes, dude, yes, dude, yes, dude. And it's like, people are looking at us like, what the fuck? And it's like, dude, you have to excuse us. It's a really great time to be a wrestling fan so right fun. now. You're, been, if you're not watching wrestling, you're really We've been up. saying that all year, though. It's a, <laughs> this whole year has been so good it's for wrestling. It's true. Um, so your favorite indie guy is, or girl. Well, you just meant, you made, made a bunch of them. Yeah. I have one favorite indie right now. Uh, who is that? I love a lot of indie Who is your favorite? But I love Tony Deppin. Oh, Did you know I was going to say that? that? I love him so much. <laughs> I love him so much. He brings me so much joy watching him. And his wife is so cute, too. Like, their marriage is adorable. They just got a hairless cat. They're just the best That's people. Cute. That's wholesome. Yeah, and, 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 like, I thought my dude was Alex Zane. I was like, that dude's badass. Yeah. Which he is. He's, like, a he's close eight, second. He's eight. He's one of your dudes? He's one of the dudes. But I only know about Tony Devin because of Alex Zane. And they had, like, this crazy good match. And then I was like, I'm going to follow Tony Devin, too. And that was, like, the best thing I ever did because he's all over the place. He's working so hard, and I feel like he's going to do, like, great things. He's just so good. I'm really excited to see where he goes. Rooting for you, Tony Devin! Rooting for you! So go, go. You have all my support. And I was trying to get a t-shirt. He had this one t-shirt, and it was so cool, and I, I can't, I don't know where to find it. I went to his cartel, but it was not there. Go, go! Oh, my God. A disaster. This is our life. This is my our show. This is my life now. <laughs> She's a teenager, you know, they do what they want. Oh my god! Cat! She's basically in DX right now. She's pretty much like giving me the X. She, yeah, she's cross chopping you right she's now. Cross chopping me right now. Like, daughter. Cat daughter. Don't do the bad stuff like blackface or anything. Go, go, go. Oh no. god, please don't. <laughs> please, I will disown you. Well, she's a little black cat already. <laughs> anyway, that's it. We're already at the hour we mark. Are. Oof, wow, we, we had so much fun. So Thank much you fun. to anybody who has supported us in but any way, especially our friends who know friends. that like we this is what we do when we see each other. And I'm sorry we do this, but we do it. I'm sorry we are the way we are. <laughs> 
asking us to start a podcast yeah. so we could channel it into something. Friend. You know who you are. You know who you are. We love you so much. <laughs> we love anyone who's ever supported us and like retweeted or reblogged or yes. whatever. Liked. Us. Whatever. Liked. If you follow us on Instagram, dude. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, y'all are the real MVPs. That's true. And we're going to keep doing this, even though it's very lo-fi right now, and there's not a lot going on. Um, we... I love doing this. I, I love do. talking about wrestling. We don't get to do uh, enough, but... Maybe we'll, like, go out and interview people, too. Woo! That would be fun. Whatever you want. I don't know. We'll I'm be like the Nardwar of wrestling. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. I already had one of these. We've had, also at like Zine Fest, we plotted a lot of things. We did, well, we did it, Mickey did. He did, he put it into me. Put it, I know he did. Mickey's a really bad influence. He yeah. put little things in my brain, and I'm like, hell yeah, we should do that. I know. I'm not going to say what they are. Now, I know you're working around full, for full gear. Um, I am working for But full. let's try to do something but anyway. I will, will, I will watch full gear again. Uh, full gear? That just makes me think of poor Hangman. And poor the Hangman! Man. Full gear! <laughs> Um, so with that being said, <laughs> okay, brief prediction. Who you got, Jericho or Cody? Because if Cody doesn't win, he can never go for the AEW title ever again. Well, obviously it's going to be Cody then. Be- Unless I- Cody is like, I'm willing to be an office guy in the back and not wrestle right now. I don't know, Jericho's going back to New Japan though. Oh, Kingdom. Uh, Jericho is such a heel right now. It's so gross. He's like taking pictures with Trumps and stuff. Oh. Like, what? 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 <laughs> Jericho has pumpkins on Halloween. <laughs> oh my god! That jacket was That's Jericho so has pumpkins. I just got so loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't the just. Daddy it's been like a, a build up. It's the oh. natty. Okay, this is like really good. <laughs> Aloha Beaches. Aloha Beaches. <laughs> That's me on the chair. All right, all right, all right. We're done, we're done, we're, we're done, we're done. done. I'm just getting more and more drunk the so longer anyways, this goes We will on. watch Full Gear at some point. We'll, we'll watch Full Gear and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Because we got feelings and we got a we lot of We have a lot of feels. Say. Survivor Series is coming up. Oh my god. It's going to be great. NXT. NXT. <sighs> we're going to Best of the West next weekend. <sighs> Chris so, Masters is going Oh my to be god, there. Masters! I saw a fire for it the outside of Fab the other day. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Big deal. Okay. Big deal. Cool. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank, thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. Thanks for putting up Hit with that us. like button. Hit like, that subscribe share. button. Share. Share it. Tell your friends about it. Yo, there's these two really annoying girls that talk about wrestling. Just can you give them a like. They're like a <laughs> friend. You know, whatever. Whatever. Something. We'll take it. Oh, boy. She's um, not the Natty Eyes heart. Oh, I <laughs> Natty Eyes heart. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, so embarrassing. Anyway, thank you for listening. We are KK Queen. Where can I'm you find you at? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Daft Pansy, D-A-F-T-T-A-N-S-Y. Not that interesting. You're pretty cute. You're pretty interesting. Oh. Those cute photos. Thank you. What about you? Where can we find your me? cute self? I'm okay. Um, you can find me at KFAB out on Twitter and Instagram. I will also annoy you on our Kayfabe Queen Twitter account by posting a lot of Raw or SmackDown mm-hmm. live tweets. When I get, you can tell when I'm bored because I'm on there live tweeting. Yeah. Why not? Sure. And um, and you can find us on iTunes, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, yes, iTunes, Spotify. Should we broaden our horizons? You guys want us on other oh, places. Oh, any suggestions are welcome. Put that below. There's other places to get podcasts, so if we're not on there, let us know. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Anyway, but, thank you. Yes. Happy one year anniversary. Yes. Salud. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Bye. Bye.